Okay, so next one we've got is task three, which is a student grade calculator. Now, grade calculators are really powerful. Um, they can be uh, fantastic for teachers or for students to try and work out their grades and track their progress. So here's my table already set up. I've got here the results for one student um, and how they're going all the different things. Now notice I've given them a mark and out of. So this is the mark they got. This was what it was out of. If you put them in the same thing, like 42 out of 50, the computer just sees them as text. And it's no good. You can't use anything for it. So you actually have to put them in two different columns. Um, otherwise, it won't work. Now, I don't want you to just calculate this. Now, I know 6 out of 10 is 60% 60 or 0.6. Um, that's easy enough to do, uh, but some of these are a little bit hard, 26 out of 37 or 15 out of 17. And also, I want it so that you can adjust this or edit it. So to calculate a decimal, um, you might remember from our functions before, we can we can use, uh, um, or we can actually work out the calculation, but the easiest thing I find is equals this divided by this, which is basically just a fraction. Enter. And it gives me a decimal of 0.84%. Right, I can do the same thing for each one. This divided, which is a line, by this. Okay, now I can copy and paste these to fill them down. Right, BV. And you notice that as I'm doing it, it says C8, DC7, right? So this is my calculation. Now here, all I want to do, I don't, I can, one way which you've done it in maths is equals this times by 100. Oops. change its number. Right, so if I go equals 0.84 times by 100, I get 84%. I don't want you to do that. I want you to just go equals, same thing. Right, so it's exactly the same. And I'm going to fill that down using my cross. But I'm going to highlight this and say, it's not a number, it's actually a percent. So here I can just click on percent and it changes it automatically. This means I don't need times by 100. I don't want to times by 100 because a percent is percent per center or per hundred. So 84 is not 84, like 84 percent is not equal to 84, is equal to 0.84. Now, once I've got it as, I will always keep referring back to this, but here I want to mark out a 20. If I was to convert this into a mark out of 20, all I'm going to do is equals this times by 20. All right, number times is the star. All right, if I want it out of 15, equals this times by 15, okay? So it's giving me a mark out of 15 and 20, and I've highlighted both, fill them down, done. Okay. Now, this is where it gets a little bit harder. You're going to use an if statement. Now, to give you an idea, here's, I'm just going to come over here and do this. So if I've got um, any kind of mark, right, let's say my mark is X. Uh, if it is greater, greater than 85%, it's going to be an A. If it's between 70 and eight and 85, it's going to be a B. If it's between 55 and 70, it's a C. All right, so each one's going down by 15. Um, technically, if it's at between 40 and 55, it's going to be a D. Anything less than 55, it's going to be an E. Now, if you want to go down that far, that's good. If you just want to go down to C, that's fine, right? But to give you an idea of how that works on a tree, here's my X. First question is, is it greater than 85? Okay, so if it's a yes, all right, so I'm going to put yes up here. Yes equals an A, all right? No, I need to keep going. All right, so is it greater than 70? If yes, then it equals a B. Now, if I've got 90%, 90% is greater than 70, so therefore it should be an A. I should, you know, that means it's getting confused. However, I've already said, is it greater than A? No. So I've already said it's less than 85, but greater than 70. All right. If it's less, if it's less than that, so no, it's not greater than, than 70, then I move across. Uh, so next question is, is it greater than 55? Yes, equals C, no. Well, if we want, we can say no equals D. I'm not gonna worry about me. All right, so that's kind of our tree of how, how the tree works. So the hub, now what we're gonna do is use our if statements. So we got equals if bracket 
I have to go by a logical test. The first, so we need first logical test. If it's true, I put this. If it's false, I put that. But we're actually going to replace false. So if it's true, I'm going to say if, right? And I'm going to go back to here. If this is greater than 0.85, right? Because that's 0.85 is 85%. If it's greater than that, I'm going to put in quotations A. Otherwise, I'm going to put not A. That will do for now. End of bracket. Okay, so this person's got 84%. It's not an A. Right? But if it's not an A, it could be something else. So we want to replace this not A with another if statement. So I'll go open bracket, if, open bracket again, same one. This is greater than 0 0.7, 0 0.70. Then I'm going to put B. Oops, B. Otherwise, I'm going to put worse. Okay. And I'm going to close off the bracket, close off the other bracket, finished, right? So it's saying it's a B, but what about if I've got less? Right, 35. Now watch here, if I change this, what happens? Right? Right, so I've got 70%. So remember I said it had to be greater than 70. This is exactly 70. So technically that should be a B. So I could do greater than equal to, but I've said greater than, just to make it easier. So we've got worse. So if it's worse than that, right, I need to make the change. So let's go and change worse. So we're going to replace worse with another if statement. If, open bracket, again this one is greater than 0.55, then we're going to put C. Otherwise, we can put a D. And as I said, I'm not going to go down to E. And two brackets to finish off. Notice that the, it's, the brackets all get changed colors. So I've got a, orange, a kind of brownie bracket closed, a green bracket, a purple bracket, a pink bracket, and the black bracket. Black bracket, I think, is always on the outside. So if you see a black bracket here, you know you've done enough. Equals, right? So it says it's a B. So look at the percents here. 84, that should be a almost an A, but it's a B. 60 is less than 70, so it should be a C. Let's just pull this down C. Yep. 63 should be a C. 70 is spot on. All right. A C. So let's have a look. Now it says B. That's because this is only going out to one decimal point. If I go out a little bit more, so I'm going to highlight this and go one more decimal point. Oops. Uh, come on. Hang on. Sorry. Making a number. Take it out to one. So see, it's, it is greater than 70. It's 70.3. All right, which means it's a B, and the last one, 88% should be an A. Done, okay? So now I've got my grades. Now, the next bit I'm going to do down here is look at the uh, semester. So we're going to look at the maximum, uh, the maximum marks. So all I need to do is equals max bracket all of these. Now, the problem is I don't want the maximum mark because 42, like here, I've got 6 out of 10. Now six out of ten is sixty-three percent, but twelve point five out of is out of twenty is a, is a little bit better. Fifteen out of seventeen is way better than any of these others, right? So I don't want to do it for these ones, these or here. I actually want to do it for these ones up to the mark, right, where it's been standardised. So I go equals max open bracket, and then all I need to do is highlight the column. Enter. So it's saying the maximum I've got is 88.2, which is this last one. Minimum bracket out of these. All right, so minimum is this one. Now the average, same thing, equals average, all these. So it'll tell me what's my average mark as a student. All right, so let's just run this across. Oops. Now I can do the same things I did here. I can actually copy all of these and paste them down here. No, I don't want to do that. All right, so here I want maximum, minimum, and average. Okay. And finally, I should be able to copy this. And that's telling me my maximum was an A, my minimum was a C, my average was a B. All right which is not too bad. All right, so that is all we need to do for um, our student grade calculator.